not a this is not a gimmick. This is real, one hundred percent. This is totally not a work. And this person wants to say something particular ahead of his segment coming up next Friday. He is here right now, Mister Anthony Spear. Oh, I haven't seen you since I hit you with the chair. Where you been? Oh, where I been? Where you been? been Indies. You been sitting at home, taking care of that back. You been taking care of that back, kid? Oh, look, look. hey, soldier, soldier. Let me, let me. So even on the even on the Indies, you're still thinking about me. Even going on to the Indies, you're still thinking about the king of the backyard team. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna think about you. You put a you put a steel chair to my back. See, you you try to double cross me. And you know what happens to people that double cross? You know what happens to people that get double crossed? You get laid out. You get laid out. As you as you said earlier, nobody's doing what IMF's doing. (laughs) But IMF ain't doing what Anthony Steele's doing, if you get what I'm saying. Anthony Steele's on a whole nother level. Hey, yeah, look, I look, I'm going to say this, soldier. I gave your boy an opportunity. I did a Make-A-Wish Foundation's request for Mr. Omen Black. I gave him his wish. He wrestled me, and it took you and his little goons to help him. Now, what what, what would really happen listen, if you were Anthony, all alone? Anthony, listen, Omen... You're, you're Omen's favorite wrestler on the backyard scene, right? That's how that's how it happened. He told you, "Oh, it's a dream to wrestle. On, uh, it's a dream to wrestle Anthony Steele." Blah blah blah. I don't give a damn about you, kid. I don't give a damn. You're not my favorite wrestler. I didn't even know who you were until Omen brought you up. You were a kid on the sideline. Remember, on the sideline. On the sideline. And if you come up here. Look- you come up here and you want your match with me, I'll gladly give you that match. You come up here and I'll put your ass right back on that sideline, kid. Hey, I'm remember it. You have that. You, oh, you're on the Indies. You have that Indies. I'm, you have that Indies. I'm, you don't want to come up here and ruin that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a piece of advice, man. A lot of men have tried to break me down and put me on the show. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, a lot compare of, me I, to I, other no, people. No, 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 no. Speak no. something listen, that listen. everybody else hasn't said. Hey, no, I, ain't, I ain't comparing you to Speak them. about I'm something that somebody else hasn't said. To you. I'm, I'm talking directly to you. Let me speak. Maybe I'll actually give you words of wisdom so you can understand what people are really saying, bro. So listen. Listen, soldier. In this game, there's people that want to act tough and then go in there and get their ass kicked and then leave put their head down, start crying. But then there's guys like me that meet men like you who think that they can make a move on someone and get away with it. Soldiers, I'm going to tell you this right now. You think what Omen did to you at the Rumble was bad? Dude, as John Cena once said, I'm going to crush you, man. I will crush you. I'm on a whole nother level, bro. You a popular monster. Hey, look. You want pussy ass monster have to hit me from behind. Ooh. You couldn't even do it to You're my funny, face. Son. You couldn't even do it to my face. You're funny, kid. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. If I have a problem with you, as I do right now, I'm looking directly at you, right? I'm doing it directly to your face. And now, life- I, I have to break Listen. actually, soldier, because Listen, so Anthony. Actually have- Listen, so- Anthony. Hold on, Tom. Listen, Anthony. Okay. This isn't Soldier talking to Anthony Steele. This is Gary Patrick talking to Anthony Holloway. I would end you, bro. Come in my ring. I'm not only. You're not going to pick me up and slam me. I'm going to drop you with a stunner. Way better than Taylor can. And I'm going to meet you one, two, three. Anytime you want that, I'll give it to you. Anytime. Hey, look, uh, you remember how I got Omen up on my shoulders? That dude was petrified of that real quick. I can do the same thing to you. I can do the exact same thing. You know how I kicked him? You know how how I kicked Omen Black and knocked his taste down his throat and made him eat the words that he said? This is coming from a man that said he could take me out by himself. This is also the man you want to say, you ain't Omen, you right. Because Omen beat you. The same thing you did to me happened to you. Karma bit you in the ass, man. And here soon, Karma's going to strike again. But it ain't going to be by Omen Black. 
is going to be by Anthony Steele. Trust me. My the only thing that's going to happen when you my, seven the Remy. My, my schedule's open, man. You saying it's and open? I, listen, you're saying the schedule's open? Space and opportunity, kid. Space and opportunity. Now, soldier, I'll make you I have it. to. I Amen. gotta cut this here because we actually have somebody else, soldier, that you actually said a few things to, and Mister Steele has been in the ring with though once or twice, and he has something else to say ahead of his appearance coming up here, May the twenty eighth, live, and actually, well, he got disconnected. I think he was so excited that he actually was about to come on here, and he and he left, but he's gonna come right back on here, and that is to be. The nemesis, James Taylor. Certainly, Mr. Taylor, you have heard a lot about what we have said about you, specifically Mr. Soldier. I see also your old foe and Mr. Anthony Steele. You've had a dance or two with him, obviously, in places like Resurrection Wrestling. Hold on, Anthony. Nemesis, James Taylor. Google on and see what Soldier? promo we get. Google, Google, hey, Google Stone Cold Steve Austin's promos and tell me which one we're going to get. <laughs> So you're gonna drop me on that, that, that dying of, the dying when you get off of your McDonald's Wi-Fi and really want to talk trash <laughs> to me, then okay. Oh, I don't know how, how the, the Wi-Fi signal is up there in uh, Michigan or Iowa or wherever the fuck you're at. But look, <laughs> yeah, look I appreciate the fact that that you want to come at me and you can't keep my name out of your mouth just like Anthony could. Anthony, good guy. He's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. You're doing your thing. IMF. When James Taylor shows up, I'm going to get in your face if you're going to be in the ring. And I promise you, I will drop you. <laughs> when James Taylor shows up. Period. Man, they're going to find, they're going to find goddamn, they're going to find the Bigfoot before you show up in an IMF ring. Well, Bigfoot I hope will be that you can keep promise. He'll be living, he'll be, his kids will be going, it'll be like Harry and the Hendersons. His kids will be going to college before you show <laughs> hey, up James, in the ring with hey, James. Hey James, I, I got a, I got a proposition for you. I know I know I know sometimes we don't see eye to eye, but on some terms we do. Hey, soldier, keep your ears open. You might want to hear this. June eighteenth, rage in the cage, my boy, rage in the cage. Anthony Steele's gonna be in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Oh, Anthony Steele. One, I'm gonna say this because I know this dude's watching. Hey, Omen. You like that world championship? You double cross me. I'll, I'll see if you remain champion at the end of the night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just hear what we all just heard on Sports Wire Radio Live here tonight? That Anthony Steele, you're going to be in Cedar Rapids, Iowa on June the 18th, and you want to challenge Omen Black? Oh, no, no. I don't want to challenge him because I know he's going to play the same dirty tactics. Then he's going to be like, oh, I beat Anthony Steele again. Dude, you ain't beat me. You. Jordan, Freddie, and Soldier. No, beat me. They he didn't beat you. I beat you. You lost that match not because of them. You lost that match because of me. But it, I'm it the reason like, why you lost that match. It seems like I, I've been. I've been. You know. How about this? I got a proposition for you, Soldier. You, you're 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 obviously not scared of Anthony Steele, right? Correct. I'm not scared of anybody, man. I'm not scared of anybody. Scared of anybody. Well, that's fair. You know, hey James, you you remember watching my my product back in the day? You know, NGJPW days, correct? You, yeah. You you remember you remember a little a little faction I was in called the Danger Club, right? Right. Um, and I see Mr. Soldier got the the dirty monsters, obviously. Because his beard looked like he hasn't fucking washed it or shaved it in the past three hundred years. Oh, I'm not one hey, to talk. Don't get mad because I can. Don't don't get mad because I can grow a beard. Hey, look, <laughs> I ain't gotta grow, bro. I ain't gotta grow the beard to fucking look good. I'll prove that day in and day out. But how about this? How about this? Rage in the cage. I'll go grab a Danger Club member. I'm not gonna say who. I'm not gonna say which one. But I'll go grab a Danger Club member. And Danger Club can show up to Rage in the Cage. And you can somehow, some way, figure out a way to get a little dirty on the show. And let's mix it up a little bit. 
Let's mix it up. Cause I already, already know, already know that uh, you know, I've issued, I've issued the challenge, but I've still yet to hear an answer to James about if James wants to have the third fight inside of a cage at Rage in the Cage. I've yet to hear his acceptance. So obviously, I'm gonna take that as he was scared from the ass beating I gave him at Resurrection. That loss kind of sunk a little too deep of his ego. So why not it? Why not? Let me bring Danger Club back for one night and one night only, June 18th in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Sorry, you challenge the Danger Club versus the Dirty Monsters. Me and Dirty Donnie versus you and whoever the your partner is from your little dangerous club. Because James Taylor, we know both of us can agree on that. James Taylor ain't gonna show up. Because James Taylor, that's what James Taylor did. He show up. If you want that match, I'll gladly beat your ass and beat whoever you bring with you and send your asses back to where you came from. You got to be really good at keeping your promises. You got to be really (laughs) good at keeping your promises. If you can't keep your promise, then nobody's going to believe in you, soldier. Look, Mr. Mr. Crybaby 24-7, I'm willing to even put my differences aside with Anthony Steele to even team up with the little bastard to go against you and Omen or you and, and Felix or you and Jordan or you and whoever the fuck you got. I'm willing to do whatever you <laughs> hold want. Hold on, hold on, James. Hold on, James. Hold on, hold on. Hold one second, one second. Yeah, one second. Did on. I hear you right? I'm holding on, boy. Yo, you heard Did me. Did I hear you right? Did I hear you right? You said you would team up with Anthony Steele to take on me and Omen. And that's all, all I had to do is say yes and you'll show up? And then it becomes beat up James Taylor Day. How how is so? If I say James yes, Taylor Day, deal. No. Omen, I will set aside every Taylor fucking Taylor. thing I have wrong with you right now to take on James Taylor and Anthony Steele. Deal. No. Deal. Show up. Show up. What do you say, Anthony? What do you say, Anthony? You and me. I think honestly, maybe yeah, I'm gonna sound a little egotistical here when say, I say this. Baby? I must sound a little egotistical when I say this, but maybe the two greatest backyard guys, legends in the business today, come to IMF and beat the two little crazy golden boys in their hey, own hey, backyard. Hey, let me before I answer the two question, legends right, of today, right? Let me let me let me, <laughs> let me correct. Let me let me correct. Let me correct you, James. I'm not I'm not in the backyard no more, but I have no problem coming back to the yard. All right, all right. Let's keep that straight. And so, I'll send her back here. right back to the end. I, hey, look. Between your legs. Hey, James, to answer your question, I'm going to follow up with a question because this is the question everyone wants to hear. This is the question that everyone is looking for. Does James Taylor accept a cage match against Anthony Steele? I'll accept any kind of match, period. So, yeah. Whoa. So, June 18th, you're coming to IMF. June now, I promise you, I won't. I promise you, I promise you, a man of my word, I will not interfere in that match at all. Nobody will interfere in that match because I want to see you guys beat the fuck out of each other. And again, I am apologizing for cussing, but that's just who I am. I have want to see you guys beat the hell out of each other because as soon as that bell rings and it's all said and done, James... James Taylor Day begins. Beat up James Taylor Day begins. And I'm going to come down to that ring. I'm going to get in that cage. And I'm going to beat the shit out of you. So you're going to beat up James Taylor after I beat so up come James Come on. Give me with Still. the stone cold promo that you do best. Because when you come down, it's not going to be a stone cold gimmick. It's going to be Soldier whooping your ass. And Steel, if you want to get involved too... Me and Omen can beat your ass as well. I oh want that, man. Gosh. Hey, look. Hey, look. I'm going to keep it with One, y'all heard it here. James Taylor versus Anthony Steele, June 18th, at Rage in the Cage. And, James, let me let me accept your offer. I accept teaming with you to take out this little fucking bozo and the guy in the comments that thinks he's the greatest gift to fucking wrestling, but he ain't nothing more than a lousy back wagon boosting off someone else, Omen Black. I you can't win a match with, by yourself, and trust me, when it comes down to James Taylor and Anthony Steele teaming up to go against Soldier GP and Omen Black, you ain't even gonna win partnering with this dude. 
You got lucky, man. You got lucky, and soldier, you got a lucky strike. But I'm you already, you this. This, nah, you're already see, asking. See, the thing is, you guys are welcome because coming to IMF, we're putting relevancy on your names, and you're welcome for that. You want to hold on? So we're gonna send you right back to Tennessee, hey. where you hey, fucking James, belong. Well, me, give me, give me, give me, give me a second, James. You want to talk about re relevancy, soldier? You're talking to a three-time world heavyweight champion. You're talking to a four-time All-American Intercontinental champion. Six-time hardcore champion. Trust me, you know I can take a fucking hit. One-time light heavyweight champion and one-time WEF Intercontinental champion. You want to talk about relevancy? You ain't put relevancy on me. Hey, now you sound, grace, now you sound, now you sound like the Dallas Cowboys. Hey. Hey, look. Oh, you sound like the Dallas Cowboys. I, we got five champions. Oh. What's your, what have you done lately? But take an ass whooping from Omen Black and get hit with the chair and sent wait, back wait, to where you came I, from. What have, I done, what have I done recently? Something that uh y'all can't even smell. It, it's one word. It's one word. I've been saying this this whole life. Indies. Indies. Dude, I think, bro. I face tougher men with my pinky than you face in your entire career. And trust me, facing Omen well, when you Black come up in the here, challenge. And you get that ass whooped. And you get whooped by me and Omen Black. And we send you back to where you came from. We'll come back on Tom Bryce's podcast and you guys can apologize like men. All right. All right. So you, I'm, I'm sorry for cussing, Tom. But I got to say this. You say you're going to beat our ass, right? You want to beat our ass, right? Yes. So let's sweet, let's sweeten the pot. Let's stir it up a little bit. I like, I like it to get spicy, bro. All right, all right. So how about this? How about this? Not only we'll, – we'll figure out a time to do this, James Taylor and Anthony Steele versus Omen Black and Soldier GP, but let's not make it just some regular match. Let's make it a Cedar Rapids street fight. Ooh. You want to beat? You want to beat our ass? I'm gonna do the same thing to you. I'm gonna take a steel chair to your well, back. Well, we can make this. it a Cedar Rapids street fight. We can make it a Boston street fight. Where are you from, Tom? You from Brooklyn? We can make it a Brooklyn street fight. You guys are from Tennessee, right? We can make it a Tennessee street fight. It doesn't fucking matter what type of street fight it is. A street fight's a street fight, and you're gonna get your ass. So, Look. so yes, so yes. Hold yes. on, hold on. Even though I'm from the south, yes, I was. I was actually born and raised in Texas. And you guys, that means you guys, you guys are used to losing. Bring, you guys are used to losing to some. You, you, you guys are used to losing to the north. Hey, look, I don't know what is up with y'all, but both of y'all got me good old by. country ass whipping. I'm gonna bring you a good old country ass whipping. That's what I'm gonna bring you. Ooh, hey, listen, I think I'm from, right, listen, we got dummy, I'm from, from Iowa. Us, All we are is country. Hey, you. I'm from Iowa. And all we are is country. So I'm going to think uh, you're going to come to Iowa and I'm going to take a corn cob and I'm going to shove it up your ass. Okay. So last thing, I hear the corn cob. That's great. I love corn on the cob. It's awesome. Um, especially for the <laughs> salt, but that's beside the point. So, soldier, you think that I'm going to be easy for you to just push over and walk over it all day, probably. You probably really think I think that. so because you're not going to uh, show you've up. Been, you've been Still, you're going you're to wrestle Anthony. this in a handicap match, bro. He's going he's gonna to mess with five days or before up. and be like, I can't show up. You can ask Anthony if I can back my shit up because I can't. Nah, uh, human the human grease ball. ball. Up, All right, he must be talking about you, James. I he think he be. is. He must be, but that's all right <laughs> because the more hate that I get, the more talk about that I get, that just shows the real relevancy because the relevancy is going to be when James Taylor shows up to IMF, IMF is actually going to be put on the map for once. Hey, I already did that. Uh, we're on the map. I did, I mean, that, I did that. Obviously, we're doing it on the map. You're trying to talk to us. Trying to use us. So we're on the map. Well, I mean, you know I'm what? Gonna Listen. You, I'm going to send you back to your little fucking town so in I'm Tennessee. When you come up here, if you come up here, I'm, I'm waiting. Oh, I'm waiting for the call. I will wait for the call that you're like. I'm not gonna be able to make it. And, and the then, maker, by the way, leave, you're gonna leave. You're gonna leave. You're gonna leave. Right? Hey, 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 you're gonna leave. Hey, 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 h
He took that from another wrestler. Oh, when can James ever? James, you approached us. <laughs> That's what he hey. says. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, before Omen goes in here, James might have uh, approached uh, y'all. But I'm going to say this. I was approached by James because Omen wanted to talk to me. So, Omen, you're welcome. Oh. Ooh. And even though I approached y'all because I'm always keeping my eyes on the product in the YouTube world, look at what you're at now. Look at the podcast you're on. Look at all the publicity you're getting. Look at everybody, the traffic that's coming. You even had Anthony show up. You're welcome. You're welcome. Dude, eight yeah, and a half hours. That's all because of me. <laughs> Thank myself. Like eight and a half Bro. hours to take a loss. Bro, eight and a half hours to get screwed. Eight, hey. Eight and a half hours to take a loss. You're right. Hey, you're going to And learn. then you drove eight and a half hours sad, you, crying how learn. IMF sent your ass back. I didn't cry. First of all, if I was going to cry, my name would be Xavier Thorne. But we ain't going to talk oh. about that. We ain't going to talk about that. So that's another subject. If, if I was going to cry, I'd be like Resurrection Wrestling. <laughs> uh, we ain't going to talk about oh. that. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it sweet. Soldier, let's be real. You want to say you took me out? Congratulations. You gave you gave Omen a win. So if by you saying that, you're basically saying Omen couldn't beat me without you. And that means Omen beat you. So if Omen couldn't beat me without you and Omen beat you, that means I could definitely beat your ass. You're daydreaming, kid. It's, it's logic. It's logic. It's logic. Good day, hey, dreaming kid. Logic speaks. Logic speaks. I'm a, hey, I might be from the streets. I might be a city boy, but I'm street smart and I'm book smart. Dominic Mysterio me. has a better chance winning the world oh. title than you do beating me in my ring. Oh. In any ring. Soldier. Right, you know what? I think we've got that there's a possibility that you guys all might be seeing each other. There is no possibility. We'll get that. If they have, show up, I, they will fight me and Omen if they show up. And, and I'm yes. going to tell you what. We're going to have Mr. Steele on next Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time. Memorial Day weekend, we're going to close it out with Mr. Taylor himself, the nemesis, 8 o'clock Eastern time. One of the biggest, obviously, backyard <laughs> wrestling stars. It's got to be 8 o'clock because he has, you know, old man has to go to bed by <laughs> That was a good bird. I'm, I'm really yeah, trying hard not to. It's a joke. I think he 